Welcome to Unravel, a platform to discuss the business of creative and demystifying the culture around it. My name is Miguel, and I'm here to talk to you about relationship equity. So what is relationship equity? I'm sure all of you have been there before, whether you're creative or not, whether you're a business person, and you kind of just want to over deliver for a client because you know that it's gonna help build your relationship in the future. Well, sometimes that may not always be the best thing for you. I'm here to unlock or uncover what it really means for that to be the best route for you to go. I'm sure you've all been there before and speaking from the perspective of someone who was once a freelance videographer, we are there all the time. So, you know, as a videographer, the market is fairly saturated, especially now in 2019. Everyone has a camera, everyone's a videographer, so it's really, really difficult for a freelancer to set themselves apart. What it comes down to is the speed and quality at which you're able to deliver for your clients. Those are areas in which you can start building relationship equity when you're just starting out as a freelance videographer or if you're a seasoned videographer or production team. Now, being in the position of both, when I can think back to when I was a freelance videographer, I found myself wanting to over deliver every single time, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but when you do think about the cost associated to you, you do have to ask yourself the question, as these things are adding up, and I'm doing this over and over again, whether that's staying up long nights and working on a next day turnaround, without even telling the client that that's the case. Now, the cost to you is not only the time that you're spending, but also wearing that down on your body and everything that uh, plays into that. Trust me, I know, being, a, being someone who used to just not sleep and edit straight through the night, I found myself in a position where it was like, yeah, I can do this. And it helps with my clients, they're happier. They're like, wow, this is amazing. You were able to finish this in less than 24 hours. This is unheard of in this industry. And it starts to become a rush. And for me personally, as someone who previously worked in service-based industries, that is also the rush in working towards client satisfaction. Now, when you do think about weighing the cost and the benefit of going in, doing a great job, and doing this with the intention of creating lifelong customers, you do have to see how much that then becomes a cost to you as it compounds over time. Now, in contrast, if you're doing it for the sake of that rush of getting it done the next day and doing it for the sake of the rush of getting a happy client, yes, it's a very good baseline, but do look at yourself and find the progression between where you were from week one of freelancing and year one. Find out what's working and seeing if that basic routine of working longer hours or extending out an additional helping hand or communicating much further in order to better serve your client, those are all things that are from, great from a service perspective. Those are all things that also do show that you are in this position of, I care most about getting the job done, which is perfectly fine. I, I come from the school of thought of getting the job done is one of the biggest things, one of the major priorities of mine versus just haphazardly you know, getting it done. I mean, I care most about getting the job done right. And when it comes to that and you compound going into caring about what the client needs and exceeding their expectations and finding yourself in a position where you do know that they're sharing with a lot of their, their colleagues and their partners, that that can certainly go a long way. If that's not happening, if you find yourself in a position that you are over delivering day in and day out and you're finding yourself underappreciated for the work that's being done, then you either A, can completely change up the routine. I don't recommend staying up all night to get the work done. That's number one. I've been there before and landed in the hospital because of it. But I do strongly recommend getting that feedback from that client beyond just doing it and providing exceptional service. That's, that, should, that should be everyone's baseline. But it does certainly help hearing feedback from your clients, whether it's good or bad. Trust me, it can be bad sometimes. And a, a lot of the, even though the intention might be there, it may not necessarily be within your best interest to consider that as the benchmark for what you're trying to do. But feedback from those clients is extremely important because you do need those affirmations in order to continue on with 
whatever it is. And the last thing that you really need to understand is not all clients' needs are the same. So if your idea of a successful project means getting it done the next day within the quality that they're expecting or exceeding that expectation every single time, they may view getting it done overnight as an easy task. While from the editor's perspective, you might think, yes, like this is a point of pride of mine. This is what we pride ourselves on, fast turnarounds. But at the same time too, as the productions get bigger and bigger, they will want to make sure that you're placing a lot of more care and attention. So there's a meme out there of an illustration of work done overnight or work done over the course of a week, work done over the course of three months. And you see the distinction of how much care and attention is put into work that takes you three months as opposed to one month. Now think about that as you as a videographer, which there's so many different blurred lines in terms of what quality means and how speed is perceived as well. Again, it's a balance. So ask yourself all of those questions, affirmations, feedback, and having an understanding as to what they believe quality service means, and I think you'll be in good shape and relationship equity will help you go a long way rather than help you.